Welcome to the third part of this series of poetry readings where I am sharing courageous contributions to the book, A Collection of Courage, that we created last year for the Taranaki Retreat. So the last three poems in this series. As I mentioned before, I will just read the poem. I don't want to add anything afterwards. I just want you to have a moment to sit with it. Begin again by Charlotte. As I close the book on the final page I wrote, I stop and breathe a sigh of love. Love of a dream I dared to dream that I rode and watched fly like a dove. Above the clouds, then crashing down and hit a seam. I take stock of what I achieved and how I moved. Now it's time to change and get in the groove. I choose to open a new book, not start a new chapter. Now I can look for a new pen and a new story to capture. This one will feature me at the heart, me with my eyes wide, ready to start. With my joy, my love, my respect, ready to put only what needs to be in there and no one can object. I give myself permission to only put in what I want to get out. I don't need to begin again with doubt. Time by Kelly. Time to breathe in and out. Time to slow down. Time to look after me. Time to read that book. Time for me. Time for me to breathe. Time for me to see what is around. Time to smell, see, touch, taste, everything. I am worth it and I deserve this. Things are changing. Time for me. I am the toppled tree by Shane Emony. The heavy storm brought forth the rain that has softened the soil, a once rooted system sprouting through life and tested by the elements. The all increasing gusting winds lean on me, adding weight and potential decay, seasonally providing the unexpected or how to protect the fragile aged and new growth. Rebirths and transformations, threats of extinction and the unsuspecting underlying encounters. Battered by the stormy assault, exposing my weaknesses, penetrating the senses of my soul and vital structure. Nature's fateful breath thrusts at my limbs, diminishing the buds that once flowered, the rich source of food and life. I am naked, unprotected and under threat left to the mercies of creation, to which has no end. I can feel my tether being pulled and stressed back and forth as fear is towering through all that is left. The air is cut as silence becomes motionless. Slowly I fall. Last gasps of life are crackles of thunder singing choruses to the lightning smashing the ground. Life's umbilical cord snaps, unearthed and lifted from all I have ever known. The clouds pass over as light enters the day. Escaped trees look on as the astonishment of ruins appear. Once the home of reaching heights immersed in thriving thicket, the day of darkness has fallen upon the last and weary. A cavernous depression is all that remains from a heart that once flourished. The toppled tree lies exposed and alone under a canopy it once belonged and scaled. Earth is heaped up through its uprooted, twisted fibres. The pulse of living cells lessen as bark peels away like unhealed wounds and nature is being gifted back to its origins. While dust settles through the light, life gathers to witness the ending of the age. Leaves will wilter from the bent back branches turned from their side. Moss will form from the undergrowth as fauna repairs the once upright and magnificent. What appears as destruction has created change to the natural order. Time will cover this wound and bear fresh sources of life. The toppled tree lay silent, yet woke up a forest 
and brought change, reborn into days of new. An era unknown, undecided, yet left to breathe once more. Thank you for joining me as I've shared with you poems from a collection of courage. <laughs>